Welcome to extraterrestrial reality. Well, uh, the mainstream media, too bad. They just, uh, they don't care about what happened yesterday in the House Oversight Committee hearing with uh, whistleblower David Grush and pilots Ryan Graves and David Fravor. Uh, they just, uh, it's not a big story in the mainstream news. In fact, I've seen a lot of nonsense on news stations. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, MSNBC. Uh, yesterday during... Uh, Deadline White House with Nicole Wallace. I checked out a little bit of that program and they talked about the hearing and uh, basically it was totally dismissed by the panel that she had. There was some woman on her panel and also David uh, or uh, Donnie Deutsch and both of these people basically laughed it off. They thought they acted like it was nonsense. Uh, the one woman, I don't know what her name is, that doesn't really matter. It's not worth digging up. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the one woman that was on the panel said, oh, I can't see that how any of this couldn't be anything other than balloons, you know. And then Donnie Deutsch, uh, this other guest that was on Nicole Wallace's panel, uh, basically was talking about the Twilight Zone and the episode called To Serve Man when uh, extraterrestrials showed up and were there basically to eat, eat humankind. Uh, they made a joke out of it, basically. They acted like it was silly. Uh, they didn't take it seriously. Uh, and then I watched a little bit of uh, the Morning Joe show this morning, and that uh, was also made fun of on there, uh, talked about by people who just don't believe in it. Uh, uh, Claire McCaskill, a former senator, uh, was one of the hosts, one of the guests on there, and she was talking with this other guy named Willie Geist, uh, who was running the show at that point, and uh, she basically stated that... Uh, uh, she says she doesn't understand how if there's all these crashes happening all the time, then we should have we would have known about it because everyone's running around with cell phones. I guess she has it in her mind that uh, when David Grush was talking about crashes that he's talking about, there's that's happening every single day of the week or something like that. When really the evidence basically shows from what we've been uh, what researchers have come up with is like a number between 10 and 100 and a little over 100. I mean, may, maybe, uh, but and, and that's over all these decades. So, uh, Again, these people have no idea what they're talking about. It's not even worth watching the news um, because especially mainstream news channels, I mean, they don't even get the... In fact, uh, Fox News, also NBC News and, and some other ones, they, they don't even get the, the uh, acronym right for UAP at this point. They're, they're, not, they're disinterested to the point that they're not even uh, fact-checking because I've seen in, in, in a number of different... Uh, uh, news outlets that they're still calling it unidentified aerial phenomena when in fact it is referred to now by the government as unidentified anomalous phenomena. They didn't even check that. It's, I've, I've been seeing this all over the place time and time again. So the mainstream media did not make a big deal out of this uh, and actually worse there are a lot of uh, news outlets online for instance like Forbes. Uh, Forbes today has uh, put out an article with the headline, uh, Nobody Cares About David Grush's UFO Re Revelations by Danny D. Placido. Now, this this idiot, uh, actually, I talked about a different article from this this person before, and it's junk. I mean, usually uh, it's uninformed. That, that There's no education involved with this. There's no they, 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 there's not even a small amount of, of research done by these people. They just out of hand, and that, that's what I saw on TV. I see people out of hand dismissing it. I mean, not even the, the reaction to somebody who was a 14-year Air Force vet uh, testifying under oath to Congress that we have recovered uh, extra or non-human intelligence uh, beings, uh, organisms, uh, along with their craft, and, and testifying to that under oath in, uh, before the House Oversight Committee, uh, that, that's not enough to uh, make the top of the news, which is incredible. So obviously, we're going to have to do some more work here, unfortunately, for, for all of us. Uh, obviously, uh, just some people aren't ready to believe it. You have to understand, though, too, is that the mainstream media is part of the establishment. I mean, so the establishment, which the Pentagon is part of the establishment, too, and the, and, and the weapons manufacturers is all part of the establishment because uh, the military-industrial complex contributes highly uh, a lot of money to the uh, to the to the uh, many can many political campaigns so you got to watch out for that too there's going to be some politicians who are going to not going to want to push forward on this apparently now we, luckily we do have some people from both sides of, both sides of the aisle that are interested in it but again i mean it's going to be up to the people to, to, to start getting angry about this because obviously the mainstream media is not taking it seriously because, again, they are part of the establishment and the establishment, uh, which includes the Pentagon and the donors uh, to the 
uh, to the uh, campaigns, uh, we weapons manufacturers who get all the big contracts. I mean, because of this, you know, uh, they do what they want them to. They'll say what they want them to say. You know, so they don't care. I mean, obviously, they'll they'll keep joking about it. This continue this the stigmatization is was basically continuing as from everything that I've seen on TV uh, for the most part uh, since yesterday. Uh, I haven't, I mean, maybe there are people out there that can point me to some other good reports. Now, I will say uh, to NBC's credit, there was a different program on uh, NBC News Now that actually featured an interview with Jeremy Corbell, so I will give them credit uh, there, uh, so you know, you had somebody who actually understands what's been going on and has studied this and has interviewed different people and talked to different whistleblowers behind the scenes. So, in, in Jeremy Corbell, so you have to give NBC News now some credit there that they had an interview with him. But on the other side of that coin, you have people talking about this, uh, and these people are talking to millions of people all the time. And when they're sitting there laughing about this and talking about Twilight Zone episodes, that that hurts this push for disclosure it makes it look foolish um you have uh joe rogan recently i you know i hear now now people talk about joe rogan and he's you know he's a he's a great uh you know great story you know he has has this great spotify channel very uh well liked he's probably the biggest podcast out there right joe rogan he had, he interviews a lot of people and, and you know he makes the comments about certain things and people listen to joe rogan Unfortunately, he doesn't believe in David Grush, according to uh, an article here I'm reading uh, from Sports Manor. It says, Joe Rogan rejects whistleblower David Grush's testimony months after saying aliens are visiting us. So, again, uh, but, but what does that matter? I mean, does Joe Rogan, is he an expert? Is he somebody who has studied this? He is not. He is not. This, this is a guy who's interviewing all different kinds of people every all, on a show every week. Right? It's all, he talks about politics, about history, about social issues. It's not just UFOs. He's just not uh, focused in on it like other people are, like we are, like a lot of people in the UFO community have, have focused in on it. Uh, I, I don't know why he doesn't uh, accept Grush. I, there are people within the UFO community who don't accept Grush either. But again, when Joe Rogan says that, I uh, see a lot of people will just, they'll just believe it out of hand. They'll just believe, take his words for gospel and move on with their lives. Uh, I, I think that we, what we really need now is we need to take another step now. We get, need to get other whistleblowers, people within the government, people who have talked to Grush behind the scenes to, to uh, meet with Congress. In addition, what we really need, we need some evidence. We need the hard evidence that is being hidden away by the military-industrial complex and the Pentagon that they are keeping secret from everybody for all these, all these years. We need the, the bodies and or craft presented to Congress and to the, and to the people because because it's time. But until we get that, we're still going to have to deal with this. We're going to have to keep pushing forward. I still think that yesterday was a major step, but uh, until we until we get that absolute evidence, we need and plus we need more whistleblowers to start stepping forward. I mean, this has to get you angry. And if you're if you're somebody on the inside who's thinking about blowing the whistle, this is the time. It's the time to to, to wipe these smiles off these idiots' faces on the mainstream news because it's very upsetting. Very upsetting. Um, but anyway, like getting back to this Forbes article, uh, you know, talking about nobody cares about David Grush's UFO revelations. Who's, so that means nobody. I, I care about them. I mean, there's a lot of people in the UFO community. Forbes is just again the, the headline right out right out of the gate is a lie. Uh, let's go through some of this idiotic article here. It says UFO whistleblower David Grush told Congress on Wednesday that the United States government has uncovered extraterrestrial bodies and spaceships from crash sites, and the internet responded with a collective shrug. Okay, maybe people in this guy's idiot circle, right, uh, responded with a collective shrug, but uh, people in my circle did not respond with a collective shrug. Uh, it was a major step forward, whether this idiot uh, understands that or not. I mean, I can't help it that, they, that Forbes has complete, absolute moronic dopes writing for it, right? I mean, what kind of, what kind of, I thought this was supposed to be, Forbes was supposed to be a prestigious uh, publication. Obviously, it's not when you have dopes like this guy, right? Dopes, dopes. Uh, who, what's this guy's name? Uh, Danny, Danny Dope. Danny Dope, okay? Uh, and he puts out, uh, has, uh, then he shows tweets that, that prove this, that the internet doesn't care. The internet doesn't care, according to Forbes, according to Danny the Dope, okay? Okay, what else does Danny the Dope say? It says, it seems as though the wildest hopes of the UFO community have come true, and many believers have certainly put their faith in Grush, but the 
general difference from the public speaks volumes. Actually, let's stop there. The general difference from the public, well, the the public, for the most part, is is fed all their news from mainstream news uh, outlets, including Forbes, right? And look what you're feeding them right here. Because you're, that Danny the Dope doesn't know what's going on with this subject, never studied it, just sits back in his armchair and is just a debunker, just total absolute fool. So what do you expect? Uh, and he has comments here, some tweets from people. I've never even heard of him before. Bobby Schroeder? I don't know. I don't care. Who, who's this guy? I don't know who he is. Okay, let's continue. So what is the significance of Grush's claim? Speaking under oath, Grush, a former Air Force intelligence officer, told Congress that the U.S. government has secretly been retrieving unidentified flying objects for several decades and claimed that non-human bio- biologics were found at crash sites. Following a flood of strange sightings in the sky, the Pentagon decided to take UFO sightings seriously and created a group in two- 2021 to look into it, as Joe Rogan might say. As part of the effort to reduce social stigma, UFOs have been renamed UAP, he says UAPs, uh, but it's UA should be just UAP. Unidentified aerial phenomena. Again, Danny the Dope it's not caught up on, his, on, on business here. Again, he's saying unidentified aerial phenomena. It's unidentified anomalous phenomena, Danny the Dope. Grush's testimony marks a significant turning point as decades of lore cultivated by the UFO community has spread from conspiratorial podcasts and UFO forums to Congress. A few years ago, perhaps the public would have been more excited, but it seems like the problems accumulating on planet Earth have made the mysteries of the universe seem almost irrelevant. Well, they're irrelevant because people like uh, Danny the Dope and uh, the mainstream media don't take it seriously for the most part, right? That's one of the reasons. I mean, if they took it more seriously, if they didn't sit there laughing, talking about Twilight Zone episodes from almost 60 years ago, then maybe things would be different, but they don't do that, you know? Uh, again, this isn't over yet. I mean, there are some people in Congress uh, who are still interested in pushing this forward, in- including people on in the Senate, too. Uh, Ch- Chuck Schumer, the Senate leader, I mean, he's talking about this, too. See, some of these people are missing the boat on this one. Uh, anyway, continuing here. Others attributed the Pentagon's sudden interest of UFOs as a... A cynical effort to expand military funding. Some joke that if aliens really were known to exist by the U.S. government, former President Donald Trump would surely have blurted out the secret a long time ago. If Grush's extraordinary claims are true, then humanity's place in the universe have been forever altered along with our perception of reality itself. But a global pandemic, burning planet, and troubled economic climate has made the grand mysteries of the universe seem like a distraction. Well, it's not that there seem like a distraction. Again, that, I mean, but what happens is like the, you, uh, basically the mainstream media turns people into sheep. I mean, for the most part, people that are sitting there glued to their televisions all, all night watching Fox News or MSNBC or CNN, they're basically sheep, right? They're basically sheep. I mean, there's a lot of people like that. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. And uh, so it depends on whatever their, te- whatever is in, imp- what, what, what in their minds, whatever is important is what those channels and, and uh, are telling them, right? You know, what the New York Times writes about, what the, you know, what the Washington Post states, right? W- that's what's important to these, a lot of people, because people are just busy with their lives and they can't have time to be, uh, to- they, can- they, 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 they rely on news networks to tell them what's going on in the world and they, then they move on. But when you have news networks, not really making a big deal out about these things right uh putting it in the last 15 minutes of an hour-long news program like i've seen uh, since yesterday well then it's not a big deal then right there's only one guy that that was a 14-year vet saying these things right uh and you had two pilots talking about things that couldn't have been made by humans i mean basically that's what fravor's comments were but that doesn't matter because if, when you when you don't make a big deal out of it well then people aren't going to think it's not a big deal then that's that's what's going on here uh, but Danny the Dope doesn't understand this. Okay, Danny the Dope sits back in the armchair, doesn't understand what's going on, and does something like this. You know, writes something like this for Forbes yet. For Forbes. Anyway, not to mention, Grush has already revealed these details in an interview on News Nation. Suspiciously, suspiciously the details align perfectly with popular science fiction tropes featuring unimaginably sophisticated spacecraft piloted by alien beings who crash on a regular basis, basis almost exclusively in the Western world. Okay, let's stop there again. Again, this guy has not done his homework. It says they seem like they're crashing on a regular basis. No, it's not really true. I mean, we're talking over 75 years. There's been a handful of crashes. You compare the number of alleged UFO crashes with the number of uh, commercial aircraft crashes, and uh, it's a totally different animal. I mean, you know, you you run the numbers, you see that that's a lot different, right? A lot different. Um, Anyway, continuing. Indeed, Grush's 
Full Story is a wild ride featuring Mussolini and the Vatican conspiring to cover up evidence of alien life before the U.S. supposedly took over and took care of all those alien crash landing sites in secret. Men in Black, it seems, was a documentary. See, again, this person's making fun of it. There is still no evidence. Alas, even for those who want to believe, there is no evidence. Not a single clear photo or video of an alien body exists. Nothing for us to argue over the legitimacy of. Okay, yeah, again, unfortunately, we don't have that stuff. And, and I, I do. Ex I believe it's very important that we do get it at some point. Uh, now, Grush doesn't have that stuff, and, but he, there are things he was saying yesterday that he could talk about, but only in a skiff, uh, a secure conference facility uh, with the... Uh, members of Congress, as long as they have the right clearances, apparently. Uh, but uh, that's another story. But yeah, we, we we need to do we need to get that stuff. But just because it wasn't presented during that hearing doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Uh, the most excited the general public has ever been about aliens was surely the Storm Area Fifty One meme that briefly seized the internet. Uh, excuse me, you know, I don't I don't think that's true whatsoever. That is untrue. That's a complete falsehood. That is not the most excited the general public has ever been about aliens. Which the Storm Area 51. No. No, it wasn't. That's not true. I don't know where you got... Where, where's your proof to back that up, Danny? Where's your proof to back that up, Danny the dope? Okay, Grush and others are asking the public to believe a story in which extraterrestrial or interdimensional life knows how to cross the terrifyingly vast chasm of emptiness that makes up the majority of the universe but can't stop crashing on our planet like bumper cars. Again, this is complete exaggeration, complete, absolute, sheer idiocy. Okay, complete absolute idiocy some have even claimed that aliens are vulner vulnerable enough to have their vehicles shot down and reverse engineered by us the hairless apes of planet earth who spend their time arguing over barbie and woke m&ms that being said there's nothing wrong with investigating these claims if enough people believe that this is a phenomenon worth looking into then by all means the united states government should look into it the general public however needs extraordinary evidence if these extraordinary claims are to be believed so i guess he's taking his cue from the late carl sagan with that one thinks he's being Thinks, thinks he's being clever uh, and then he talks uh, talk about Brian Cox English physicist and BBC presenter had the most down to earth response to the claims writing on X now X is now the new name for Twitter which is going to make things very confusing for people very very confusing the site formerly known as Twitter. I watched a few clips and saw people who seem to believe stuff saying extraordinary things without presenting extraordinary evidence. Therefore, I have nothing more to say other than it would be great if true. It would, be, it would take a bit of the pressure off our civilization if we weren't the only means within the Milky Way by which the universe understands itself. Sadly, as of today, I still feel that pressure so we can perhaps focus on not messing our world up rather than hoping that, to paraphrase Sagan, someone will float down to save us from ourselves. Again, I mean, even this physicist is a dope, okay? To make the, the, a lot of these people have this idea that, the, that aliens are here to save us or something like that. They've been here for a long time. Uh, I don't see them trying to save us. I mean, again, this, people like this, they don't even know what they're talking about. They haven't investigated it, right? And I know that these people are dummies, too, for a fact. I know that for a fact because I saw one of these creatures, right? I saw one of them. I saw one of the craft myself, right, with my own eyes. So I know. I, like, every time I see stuff like this, it's like, my God, I, 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 I feel so comfortable just telling Telling, telling, telling the world how much of a dope I think these people really are. Because they are. I just know it. I know it for a fact. Right right out of the gate, I know it. Because I saw I know for a fact that the, all these other millions of people that have said... Uh, of course, some of them were probably not telling the truth, right? But mo a lot of them definitely most certainly are, right? Most of them are. Most of these people that finally uh, talk about this stuff in public, they're telling the truth. All right, I know that because I know what I saw and I know that it's real. So I know every time somebody is acts like this in an article, you know, for a major publication like Forbes, I know that these people are totally stupid, right? I just know it right out of the gate. Okay, there was another article here uh, I want to check into. Yeah, yeah, this was on this uh, um, Brian Cox. It was the art. It was, it, there was another article on in Newsweek about this renowned physicist response to UFO hearing goes viral. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, I, I, this is again. I I think I mean, they're focused on one guy. One guy's comments on this, like that. Mean that's all we're gonna focus on? Some physicist who doesn't believe in it, who who needs who who's waiting for the for everything to be handed to him on a silver platter. Never went out and investigated this stuff on his own, right? Isn't is, is interested in enough just to sit back and wait for someone to show him the evidence to his face? Why did, why hasn't someone like Brian Cox been out there uh, investigating this stuff for himself for all these years, right? That, that doesn't make any sense. I, I I where's his proof that this 
is not going on. I mean, are these people not aware of all the photographic evidence, the film evidence, the video evidence, right? The testimony. Are they aware of the aerial school incident? Are they aware of the Turkey UFO videos? Have they looked at any of that? Have they read any books? Have they read some of the books by Richard Dolan about the history of the cover-up since the 1940s? Have they done that? Right? No, they haven't done it. Obviously, they get all their information off of the mainstream news, which still can't even get the, the acronym right. It's, it's unidentified anomalous phenomena. They can't even get the acronym right. Right. So the day after, this is what we're getting. It's not much, folks. It's not much. That's why it is going to be very important. It's very key. It's very critical Right. that uh, uh, we, we get people um, to keep pushing this in congress i mean we have to have congress needs to keep pushing this we need to keep pushing the envelope because otherwise i mean we these there's a bunch of dopes out here out in this world that are running the mainstream media and, and and a lot of heads are getting filled with stupidity because from people who have no idea what they're talking about it's not just here either there's actually independent i was going through the internet today through youtube there's independent news channels like people who who, who are really good at talking about politics right who, who think they know what they're talking about with ufos and make statements and and they're totally they have no idea what they're saying they, they're complete absolute morons when it comes to this subject but unfortunately there's you know I'll, uh, there's a lot more of them I, I say right they seem to have more power the people that the dopes seem to have more power when it comes to the ufo topic than the people who uh, have seriously studied this and that needs to change we somehow right now the scale for the dopes is is they they you know they have they're winning right now because when you look at the mainstream news in totality, yes, here and there you'll see some examples of uh, of, of efforts to you know be straightforward and, and and serious about it, right? But for the most part, the dopes have the power right now. Somehow that needs to be changed. We have to get the power away from the dopes, right? We need to get more serious people talking about UFOs on in the mainstream in these in Forbes and the New York Times, right? We need more serious people talking about it rather than dopes, because right now we got dopes. Uh, for the most part, they, 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 I mean, you look at Twitter and there's a lot of dopes on there, but there's a lot of people in the UFO community fighting back. We need to continue with that. We need to take it up a notch. You know, we need to take the rhetoric up a notch and we need to uh, continue, co you know, contacting your, your lawmakers and demanding that, hey, take this seriously. We want more hearings. We want more whistleblowers and we want the truth finally because we know that there's something going on. We know that there's something here. We don't care about all this noise coming from the mainstream and the debunkers and, and the doper, dopey followers of the debunkers. We're tired of that. We want to move on as, as a human race. We want to know what the government has has accumulated over the years and we're sick and tired of it so seriously what you need to do is start sending uh messages to to your congressperson your the people the people that represent you the senators and and the and the representatives who represent you in the united states anyhow and demanding right and and i would i don't know in other places and other countries in this uh, in this world right i think you people need to start demanding that their officials start releasing the information and start telling the truth about this it is time it is time and the mainstream media needs an overhaul when it comes to this. You know, these people, I mean, I don't know how you could go on. I mean, isn't it embarrassing? You would think, I mean, from what I saw, just watching that, just a couple of uh, segments on NBC yesterday and then this morning, uh, those couple of segments to have people come on and talking like this, and they didn't even get, on TV, they, did, they didn't even get the acronym right on TV either. They're talking aerial still. They, they, they don't care. That's why. They don't take it seriously. That's why. These people, the people in the mainstream media need to start, start taking it seriously because this is a serious topic. It, it is a very extremely serious topic. We, there is a presence on this planet. There's a non-human intelligence um, among us. It's doing something. We don't know what it's up to. We need, elite, we, we need our officials to finally acknowledge this. The officials that have been studying this secretly for all these decades, they need to finally acknowledge this. And we need to get everyone else, we need to get the entire human race on board with this and start and move forward from there rather than this uh, not nonsense it's incredible to me that after listening to that hearing yesterday that incredible hearing one of a kind i mean first time ever something like that ever happened and yet the response from people in the mainstream they they this they're, they don't care they're more worried about politics right that's what they want to talk about that they don't care uh, they want to they're worried about stuff that's going on in washington dc and and who hates who and who's running for president and and things like that that's all they're focused on they they never take time in their lives to 
you know educate themselves on this topic they just don't right they all they're, and then they go on tv and they talk like they know what they're saying and when they don't and it's embarrassing it's so so embarrassing uh, anyway that's how i see it at the day after this uh but again we got to still keep i think everyone needs to keep their heads up and we, we and we got to you know we got to demand that uh, uh, people in the ufo community need to demand more more hearings we need more whistleblowers i'd like to know well which is the, who was the whistleblower that was scared away from this other hearing that we just had yesterday we, we need to get that person back right we need to get certain people up there people that are actually working in these programs right now that's who we need who are these people that grush was talking to right we need to get those people uh, in in congress talking in, in in a house oversight committee or a senate oversight committee whatever we need to get people in committees in, in in the senate and the house who are working in these programs right now who believe that this needs to be made public finally talking and in, 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 in under oath about it and we also need evidence we need someone uh someone who has the guts someone who has the access to finally give us the evidence Finally, show us what we have. Give us some documents. Give us some pictures. Give us something solid so we can end this whole argument and move on. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Until next time.